So in an effort to figure out what is going on in our refrigerator, I am having Mr. Liam here pull everything out. Hey Liam, actually let's leave the vegetables in the vegetable drawer. It's the things on the shelves. I'm having Liam pull the things off our shelves out of our refrigerator so we can give it a good wipe down and try to get a handle on our food situation. Good job, Liam. Can you, Liam, look at me. Leave the things in the drawer. Take the things off the shelves. Oh. All the things on the shelves need to come out so we can wipe them off. The things in the drawers can stay. That's good, yep. Excellent. Wait. So this is what our refrigerator looks like before we head to town to shop today. You did a big job, huh, Liam? Huh? Did you help Mommy clean out the refrigerator? Yeah. It looks so much better now, doesn't yeah. it? Even when we're done, we, we, we set D in here. Mm -hmm. did, 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 did. We wiped the whole thing out. You yeah. pulled it all out. Yeah. And it is all fresh now. Mm -hmm. And our yogurt drawer is bare and ready for a yogurt load, huh? Yeah. Woo! All shiny clean. And you even cleaned out the vegetable drawers. Oh, your foot makes it so much better. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing we can do is to just take the big old purse. I've got a 31 purse here and dump it out and weed through everything that's collected in here. My purse has been growing over the last few weeks. We've got diapers and a Bible, which is a good thing. Some Sharpie markers I bought that just found their way to the bottom. We've got, oh, a Nerf disc. Every mom needs that. Some more markers, contact solution, receipts. Pens. Oh, Quality Outdoor Furniture. That was the company that I'm having build my chicken coop, hair brush, hair things. It's just time to get this purse more organized. So here is a quick peek at my purse all cleaned out. I've got my Bible in there, my green money bag, my pink makeup bag, eyeglass case, and I should probably explain by money bag I mean I have checkbooks, bank cards, all those things in here. This big notebook is my budget notebook because we do a cash-based budget. I'll have to do other videos about that specifically though. It is a lot of work to attempt to manage every single penny and give every single penny a name and account for where it has gone and where it's going to go before we spend it. So I just carry this with me and quick peek I have various expenses we need to pay and receipts that I keep in here. I also have a larger budget binder but this is the one that goes with me this is my business planner and hey I've got tax papers sticking out but these are important papers that I feel like when we're riding down the road in the van I need to plan certain things and so it's just easier for me I'm a paper and pen kind of girl to keep these papers with me and then of course because I'm playing on YouTube I got my GoPro in here and then in the side pocket I've got my phone I'll keep the camera I'm currently recording on in there and I just have my keys in my other pocket so still a big purse but definitely more organized and a lot of paper and mess cleaned out of it so we are out and about in our city today our little pretend baby city and we are doing our grocery shopping and running a ton of errands which is what we do when we all herd up in our van and head to town Right now, we're heading over to one of our local thrift stores where I'm gonna hunt up some more t-shirts and shorts for my two rough and tumble little boys, Gabriel and Liam. They're the six and four year olds and they have ripped holes in, got super dirty and just been boys in their t-shirts and shorts that I picked them up a few months ago for this summer. They need fresh t-shirts. That's what I'm going after. So we'll take you in there too. We got, oh, I don't know. Let me Wait. try to count here. Buck Liam got a buckaroo game and I got, the boys got probably 15 or so new t-shirts. 
Probably got 15 or so new t-shirts and maybe five or six new pairs of shorts, all for $2 a piece. We spent $45. Come on, come on, Bobby. Gabriel wanted to carry that big bag. Good job, Gabriel. So Naomi and I are gonna head into our local sharp shopper, right, Miss Naomi? Yeah. We're gonna go see if we can get some yogurt deals. So let's go. I like to get our noodles here when they have them for the family. Here we are, we're coming out of Sharp Shopper with our loaded cart full of food. We spent $126. They did not have the yogurt. That's so sad when they don't have a good deal on yogurt. That will happen from time to time. So that means I'll most likely pick up our yogurt at Walmart. Costco and we're gonna try to buy a ton of meat and fruit and veggies and not scare too many people with our large amount of food. Gabriel. Yeah. See these things of whole yeah. potatoes? Get two of those. One. Put them in Diane's car? Yeah, one at a time. We'll see if you guys like them. The potatoes. And then Naomi, you get two things of the corn. So we could use that for chili and some other things. Probably have to get one at a time. And then, Gabriel, yeah. you get two of these, one at a time. Those are He's kidney beans. Even groceries and products into our very small kitchen if you can see the mess behind me and now we're going to go through the task of attempting to organize it all and get it into the three refrigerators and freezers and the pantry 
and if you check back tomorrow, I'll have another brand new video that goes through all the items I bought, including the cost breakdown at, this, at each store, along with a budget breakdown of what this grocery haul will cost per person, per family member, per week, and also per day, and even down to per meal. So I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. You have a great day. Bye-bye.